What's going on guys? It's your boy Keidra Franklin with 924 Photography and today I have another review for you. Fulham sent me out their new mic set. So this is, I think, believe this is their first uh, mic set. And I'm gonna read on the back of the box because I'm not using a teleprompter for y'all today to be more formal. I'm just gonna read on the back of the box so you'll be informed of what we got going here. So you will get uh, two transmitters and one receiver. Uh, the frequency range is 2400 to 2480 megahertz. DSP noise canceling at a minus six dB. USB type charging. It's a five volt, two amp. The wireless charging case is, is cool, it's magnetic, and you can put this case right here onto another charging surface and it'll charge the case. So I'm gonna go over what's in the box. And uh, another thing we're gonna go over today is we're gonna do a distance test, and then we're gonna go through all the modes because they have a normal mode, they have a DSP mode, and then they had a, a KTV mode. Um, the normal mode, sounds the best to me and that's the one i'll probably use uh more often the dsp mode is more for cancel noise cancellation and then you have the ktv mode which is an echo which i still don't know what i would use that for i, I have no idea but it has an echo to it uh somebody comment below and tell me what you use the ktv mode for if it has an echo already into it built in like for me personally, I can do the echo outside in, in post. So if I needed that, so I kind of like all my audio pretty clean. The net weight of this is the storage box is going to be 188 grams. And the net weight for the transmitter is 26 grams and the receiver is 40 grams. So the receiver is just a little bit bigger. It's more square, as you can see in the B-roll right now, the case for a second. So when you get this case here, like I said, it can be charged on a charging pad and it'll charge it up, or you can use a USB type C here to charge this case up. What's, then they have some indicator lights right here that if you press one time, you can't see it here, but you'll be able to see it in the B-roll if I'm rolling some right now, that you know that it's charging. When they're done, they'll stop charging and it'll be good. It has a nice magnetic top to it, and then I, I'm actually using uh, my Deity microphone right now to record this process. And then I'll put, uh, I'll put at the bottom of the screen that this is the Deity microphone above. But when we get ready to change over to the Fulham, which we are using the Fulham now, we got the Fulham here and it's transmitting to my camera to the receiver. So that's how I'm syncing up my audio by themselves. Now, when you, once you get the case, you put these in here, they have, they're self-explanatory you, you can't miss how you got to put these in there because it's only one shape uh, but once you do that it's pretty self-explanatory I like the case it's built very well I mean it almost feels like my other case from uh, ZG Cine uh, that I use for my roads now I'm not going to do a comparison on the roads today but if you would like to see that video definitely comment below and let me know that you would like to see that video below uh, comparing these to the roads because I believe these are $249 at the time of this video and I believe the roads are $289 so is it worth spending an extra 50 something dollars to get the roads or would this be a budget option for you if you're in this game uh, so again we're gonna do a distance test we're gonna go through all the modes and we're gonna see how they sound and I will put everything that we're doing it'll be at the bottom with a note so let's go ahead and do the range test right now at this portion of the video we're going to get ready to do the range test and i'm actually using this microphone now it is in stereo mode and i have the wind muff on i'm not going to put the lavaliers on today but uh if you get it at least this you'll know what the actual audio sounds like so we're going to go through uh stereo mode which is going to be st on your um your receiver and then we're going to do ms which is a uh, uh, safety mode and then we got m which is going to be a uh, multi-track mode so it'll have two things of audio so right now i only have one channel of audio because i'm using stereo and i'm gonna have to feel either the left with the right or the right with the left in post so we're going to put the drone up in the air and i hope this sounds really good to y'all and my in camera is set at five so i have the mic the receiver turned all the way down to the lowest setting on the microphone and i have my in camera set at five and it's like right here right below my neck 
So if I change it out and I put it right here, I don't know how this sounds. So this is what it would sound like if I had it right here. But I'm gonna clip it on my, uh, on my shirt because that's normally what I would be doing if you're running and gunning and shooting and stuff. So that's where it would normally be at, like right here. So that's how we're gonna do it. So we're finna get on my one wheel and we're finna do the distance test right now. All right, and I am rolling as well. All right, here we go. All right, so we're finna do the distance mode and Freddie gonna have to come out some. Go out just a little bit in the street, Freddie. Uh, actually, come up here to me. Keep walking. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm just trying to see you. Right there. You step out this way. Right there. And all you got to do is hold your hand up and wave, and I'll be able to see you. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. We're going to do the distance mode um, after this car pass. And here we go. So I'm on my one wheel right now and we are doing the distance mode. So, I'm gonna carve a little bit. He can't hear me now. So I'm out. Um, okay. Right here. Can you hear me? All right. He can hear me now. All right. So right here is going to be the distance test. You can hear me. All right. So he can hear me here. So this is probably, I don't know how many feet this is, but uh, I'm pretty far. And I mean, I don't really foresee nobody being this far from the microphone. Does it sound good, Freddie? Give Two ways like this. All right, bet he said it sounds good. All right, when and this is a uh, multi be MS on your thing, and we're coming back. Can you hear the wind, Freddie? Wave your hand twice. Nope. So, oh, uh, you can. Can you hear that? All right. So the DSP mode is what we're going to check next, and it's supposed to be to calm down the wind. So we're going to change it to DSP mode right now. So right now we're in DSP mode, and DSP mode is supposed to cancel out some of the noise reduction. Um, since I've been using these mics, I don't really use DSP mode. I would rather put my own noise reduction in and post, but it's cool that they put the feature in for, for us to uh, see. And we are, are still on multi-track uh, multi safety mode. And again, stereo mode gives you one track and you have to feel the left with the right, and then you got the uh, MS mode, uh, that gives you a safety track, and then you got your M mode. Uh, so that is what this one is. So now we're going to change it to KTV mode, so you can see what that sounds like. This is KTV mode. Probably say you probably like, man, I ain't gonna ever use this mode. It is an echo. If you know what mode, why you would use this, please comment below because I have no earthly idea of why we would be using this mode. And we're still in the MS, which is going to be the multi uh, safety track mode. So I got a safety track, so basically what that means is I got a higher level audio and then I got a lower level audio, so I'll be able to bring that up if I need to. So if I needed to use the right track that's lower, I could just feel the right, the left with the right. You see what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna go to the next one. This is going to be low cut mode outside. This is low cut mode with the MS, which is gonna be the multi-safety track, and this is what this part sounds like right in front of my face, right here. Now, if I put the microphone in here, and this is what this sounds like with the um, low cut mode on. Oh, my drone is right there, and I don't know if you're able to hear that. I'm a moment of silence. This is the normal mode with the wind muff on, with the microphone right below. This is what I would normally use if I'm running and gunning. If I'm using my Rode microphones, this is how I have it. I don't put a lavalier on because I don't be wanting to rustle. I'd be trying to get it, get it and going. If I'm riding my unicycle and I'm trying to do something, if I have a backpack on, it'll be at least about right here. So this is what the normal mode sounds like with the full aim 1000 with this transmitter right here. So. 
that's going to conclude this video. If you like this video, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's dip back into Kedron sitting down right now, baby. So let's wrap this up. We're going to wrap this video up with the Full Aim F1000 microphone set. Should you get this? Well, that is completely up to you. Uh, I'm going to give you my pros and cons of it uh, and let you see. As you've seen in the video, we did a range test. I showed you all the modes that you could go through. Now, for $249-ish, you get the charging case, you get two transmitters and one receiver. You also get a cable that can go to your cellular device, which this one comes with a iPhone cable. And that makes it so easy for you to be able to put these microphones on your iPhone. So if you're running a gun, and so if you're one of those iPhone people, you can actually use this for your iPhone. Now this cable won't work with the roads. I tried it, it does not work. It just works with this. So $249, you get the case, you get an iPhone cable, you get two lavaliers, you get two transmitters and one receiver, but you do not get internal recording 32-bit float that is an extra safety net for people that are running gun and don't have a audio person behind it. Now, you have the Rhodes, which uh, could be on sale right now, but they retail for like $299. Well, the Rhodes, $299, but then you've got to this case right here from ZG Cine was $59. So that's $259, no, that's $359 right now versus $249 for this. Now, if you want to, the roads will go through uh, to a cell phone, but you gotta buy an extra cable that might be 10 or 15 more dollars. So now you're up to $370 for the roads. Is it worth the $370? Now, with the roads, you get 32-bit float, you get internal, recording uncompressed. So that is an extra safety net that you get with these uh, microphones that you don't ever have to worry about. If you get back home and you lost audio because you went in or it cut out, you don't have to worry about that. With these, you don't get that. But this is a nice budget option. They don't sound bad. As you can see, that was all raw audio. I didn't do anything but bump the levels up or feel the left or the right with the left channel. That is it. So again, I wanna thank Full Aim for sending me out these microphones. I truly appreciate it. They are great, they will be used. Um, my friend Freddie wants to use them, so I'm gonna give them to him for about a couple of months so he can use them on his shoots because he does not have the roads and I do. So again, uh, if you wanna see a comparison between these two, just let me know, I'll do a comparison. Uh, let's talk about that distance test real quick. The distance test, it cut out early on that I like for it to. Um, I don't know if it was interference, but I'm right around my house area and my roads never do that. But when I turn around with line of sight, it seemed like it was a lot better. It still cut out when I was coming towards it. So uh, I may still do some more testing with that. So just be aware of that. Now, if these had internal recording, we wouldn't have to worry about that issue at all. So hopefully next, uh, time go around full aim brings out some microphones. They will put the internal recording even if they don't have a 32-bit float It would be good But if you need a nice budget option for 240 something dollars, this is a great option for you to get uh, Or you could get these for uh, 299 and if you want the cases 300 and something dollars So again, I want you to hit that like comment and subscribe button and hit that bell So you don't never miss a video from me and I'm actually using the full aim system right now and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video peace